Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you how we can create the Excel file using the Power Automate Cloudflow. So let's see an example. So this is my SharePoint site. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create one uh, blank Excel file. Okay. I will explain you later why I'm creating a blank Excel file. Okay. So my blank Excel file is created. Okay. Now I will go back to the Power Automate Cloudflow and here the, I will type a get file content which is a SharePoint action okay so let me scroll down get file content here we have okay and now I'm going to select the site address okay and here I need to select my blank excel file this is my blank excel file okay now let me run this my flow runs successfully okay now you can see uh, we just created this as a blank excel file okay and uh, you can see there is a nothing okay and if i see the output of this get file content then here you can see we have this type of file content file is still blank but still it is giving me some uh, file content which is nothing just a type and the content okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy this okay and now let's edit this and I'm going to use the compose function okay and here I will paste this file content okay so now you can see so I'm using this to create a blank file first okay so this is the content let me rename this to a blank file content and here you can see content type application format nothing just like you can say a namespace okay and i will add another action compose okay. then i will type my excel file name right now i am just uh, putting the hard coding value but you can maybe use a, a timestamp to make it a uh, dynamic in your project okay so let's say test excel and here we have a extension of the excel file and let me rename this to a excel file name excel file name okay so now what we will do we will just select the create file action from the SharePoint okay and then we will select the SharePoint site and select the path share document and my file name would be the output of the compose and then content is nothing just like a blank okay so now if I run this now you will see my file will created in the SharePoint site now flow run successfully now let me refresh this so now you can see that test excel file is created let me rename the uh, delete this okay and then if I open that test excel then you can see this is nothing just like a blank okay so now our excel file is created now next step would be like create a table either you can create a table or you can insert the data uh, but we have a different way so today i'm going to explain you this first method okay so here we need to just uh, create the table so if we type create table then it will show you excel uh, online and then you need to uh, select the location so what i'm going to do i'm going to just select this 
copy this because in my case it is not coming okay so you can uh, put as a custom value okay and then type this and if i then you can see this section is coming i will select the document and uh, you need to select the file where you want to create the uh, uh, table so in my case create file give you output of as a id i have i will select this and now here you need to select this uh, the table range okay uh, so now you can see enter the table address using the a1 notations okay so let's suppose this is my excel file i want to uh, create uh, three columns uh, which is I start uh, from a1 and till c1 okay then what i need to do we need to just type the a1 colon and then c1 okay and here you can uh, type your table name in my case i am typing first table my table name would be the first table okay and here is a you can use the semicolon or comma separate it just to create a uh, column name so i am just typing the first name second name and then id okay so my table is created now second step step would be like uh, we need to insert the data then we have a add row excel function uh, add row okay then same thing we need to is the our site address okay, and then select the document library and then the file name okay so for file name you can use the same id which is coming from the create file okay and for table you can Okay. Couldn't retrieve why. Okay, so let me first manually type this. It should come automatically first table. Okay, and then did something wrong no okay current data value value segment type literal expressions and uh, this is the case okay if i type the let's say custom value then we can just simply select the table name from the create table okay and then <clears throat> now you can see it is asking uh, you to insert the data so here you need to insert the data using the json format okay so that's the reason i'm typing the open and close curly braces and then uh, i will just copy this just to save the time and here and this is my first and this is the second and then i will keep this column names in the double quotes same thing i'm going to do rest of the columns okay now we will use the colon and then in the double quotes i will type the value first name sumit second name again sumit and id would be the one okay so now you can see, you can see in the double quotes i just type the column name and in the double quotes i just type the uh, column values okay so now my flow is ready okay definition contains invalid okay uh, we just forget to type the comma okay now let me run this okay file created successfully 
okay table and value added successfully so now what we need to do we need to just open this and now let's see so now you can see table is created successfully first name id and then column three oh what it is okay so i guess we did some mistake let me edit this it's in okay i just put full stop we should use the comma so now it is you can see this is comma first name and then comma second name comma and then id like a comma separated with the column name let me recheck okay so look fine now let me run again save test okay floor and fail okay because that file is already exit and we can't create table twice so let me delete this okay now let me rerun this slow because my table is already created and again i am going to uh, do the same thing so that's the reason it gives you error okay okay now let's see refresh this open the excel okay now you can see this is the first name and this is the second name and this is the uh, value of first name second name and id is one so that's how we can uh, create the excel and if you want to insert more data like uh, uh, there is some scenario you are fetching the data from the sharepoint list and then you can uh, do the apply to each inside apply to each you can keep this add a row into a table okay and then you can keep uh, adding the data and uh, keep uh, remember in mind like you should always uh, increase the concurrency control uh, so like uh, just to uh, insert the data very quickly okay okay so this is the first method in my next video i will explain you how we can create the uh, excel file using the different method okay thanks for watching please subscribe my channel see you later